let's make a bow. You can do this with crayons, a pencil, or even color pencil. Let's get started. Use a pencil to lightly sketch out your bow. First, we're gonna start with the center. On a diagonal, you're gonna be making a rectangle with curvy edges, so there should be no pointy corners. Start closer to one corner of the rectangle you just made, and you're gonna be making two diagonal lines going inward. As you're making your diagonal lines, try and keep around the same amount of thickness as you did for your original bow. So about the same size as the middle. Connect the top of the two diagonal lines by making a rounded line. Then we're gonna make a rounded line at the bottom and erase the original bow that's on the inside of this shape that we just made. You're gonna keep repeating this shape around the bow. Two diagonal lines in, a rounded line to connect the top, and a rounded line to connect the bottom. This time I'm going to stay on the inside of my shape and not go over the corner of the bow. It almost looks like a curvy trapezoid. Repeat this shape around the center of the bow. As you make your ribbon shapes around, they will start to overlap. Start the two diagonal lines on the other ribbon shapes and continue to make the shape in between other ribbons. As you're building your bow, check the balance to see if one side could use more ribbon to balance out the other side. Once you're finished all the ribbons for your bow, it's time to get coloring. You can use a crayon, a pencil, or a color pencil to color these in. We're going to use value to make these look realistic starting with the center. On the two shorter sides, color vertically up and down as hard as you can for the darkest value. For the rest of the ribbon, color horizontally. Starting with the darkest value, use pressure to color close to the edge on both sides. Lighten up your grip as you continue this process. The next pressure will be dark on both sides, but not as dark. As you get closer and closer to the center, the pressure will get lighter and lighter. Once you're closest to the center, use a very, very light grip to lightly color the inside. This will make it look like it's really highlighted in the middle. For all the ribbons on the side, feel free to turn your paper if you're more comfortable coloring that way. Repeat the same shading process that you did for the first ribbon. Start by two dark lines on the outside, then color horizontally starting with your darkest pressure on each side and lightening up as you get towards the center. Space between the bottom curve of the bow color very dark. Continue this coloring process on all of the ribbons on your bow. That's how you make a bow using value and shading. If you want to take it one step further, we can make a ribbon on each side of the bow. Use your pencil to sketch a ribbon coming out diagonally on either side of your bow. Start by slightly making a curvy line. You can go out, a little bit in, and repeat the same line over a little bit. On the end, you can make a not so perfect upside down V to connect the ribbon. Repeat the same step on the opposite side. Draw a curvy line. Try and copy that same curvy line again. Make a letter V to connect the lines together. To color in the ribbon, you're gonna use the same process that you did for the bow. You're gonna start by using the darkest value, so a lot of pressure first, and you're gonna go dark to light, and then light to dark. So it's gonna go dark, medium, light, medium to dark and continue this process until your ribbon is finished. I absolutely love making these bows and I hope you did too. I can't wait to see yours. Mm -hmm.